Today we will be discussing some of the recent news surrounding NEO stock. Make sure to give us a like, and subscribe to the channel for more stock updates like today. Also eBull is giving two free stocks, valued all the way up to $1,600, only after you deposit $100 on the platform. Use the link down in the description, to get your two free stocks, and now let's begin with our video. NEO began accepting applications on Thursday for tickets to NEO Day 2020, which will be held on January 9, 2021 at the, Chengdu Financial City Performing Arts Center. NEO Day is NEO Annual Owners Gathering, and the company is expected to unveil its fourth new car, a sedan. The sedan, with its name to be determined, could be mass-produced in the fourth quarter of next year at the Jack NEO plant in central China's Anhui province. This will be a big catalyst for the stock and we can expect for the stock to reverse the downward trajectory that they have been going through. Over the past five days, NEO stock has tumbled more than 15%. For the year NEO stock is up more than 1000%, so in the grand scheme of things, the 15% decrease in the stock doesn't mean much. It seems to be a temporary pullback for the stock until the next catalyst can drive up the stock. NEO Day will put the stock back on the upward trajectory after a roller coaster of events in the EV space. NEO stock will most likely not delist from the stock market but delisting fears will bring down the Chinese EV market as a whole. Also the recent fraud that occurred with candy stock will push down NEO stock. With external auditors Chinese stocks will become a less riskier investment. When there is a stock like Lucky and Coffee or Candy that commits fraud, it hurts the Chinese market as a whole. It causes there to be more regulation on these companies, but will give investors a clear peace of mind. NEO is known for its style and design. But the company has also made great strides with its technologies. They have smart connectivity, level 2 autonomous driving capabilities and the Nomi AI virtual assistant that personalizes the driving experience. Neo cars have 23 sensors along with the mobile IIQ 4 ADAS processor. China's economy has mostly recovered from the pandemic, and that has been a catalyst for Neo. But the growth is likely to continue for the long haul. Consider that China has made substantial investments in building the infrastructure for EV and there are attractive subsidies. The goal is for EV to account for 50% of new auto sales by 2035. Chinese stocks have the advantage over other companies because they will be growing in the largest EV market. NIO will have a strong foothold in China, and that will give it a strong foundation when expanding into other countries. EV vehicles are far superior to gas vehicles, it will be like going from the flip phone to the smartphone. Gas vehicles have too many moving parts and the maintenance for the vehicles is much greater. The EV vehicles have less moving parts and the parts that they do have will continue to get more higher quality through many iterations. The technology in electric vehicles will be far superior, and they will change the way that we travel. I think that the EV industry will continue to grow and in a few years completely replace gas vehicles. With all their growth so far I think that NEO will continue to grow in the long term. Make sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more stock updates like today. Also eBull is giving two free stocks, valued all the way up to $1,600, only after you deposit $100 on the platform. Use the link down in the description, to get your two free stocks, and we will see you in the next video.